Good evening. My name is Ann Elder. I am a Texan, a very proud Texan, sometimes a little bit of an obnoxious te Texan. I can't talk. I haven't had anything to drink. I oppose SB6, uh, and I want to share with you uh, why. Okay. So. All day long I have heard this comment about this hypothetical eight-year-old girl who might be attacked by a predator. Guess what? That was me. When I was eight years old, I was molested at knife point by a neighbor. He told me that if I resisted or told anyone, he would kill me. He told my little brother that, too, because my little brother ran up and saw what was happening. Also, at, at the age of 21, I was attacked and abducted at gunpoint in the parking lot of my apartment complex. The perpetrator uh, took me off to an abandoned area, raped me, sodomized me, and told me if I moved within the next 30 minutes, he would shoot to kill me. I laid there tied up with a bag over my head, praying to God that a child would not find my dead body because that would traumatize them for life. I am the person you wrote this bill for, but I can tell you that SB6 would not have protected me because only if you had included an SB6 that we restrict men from kitchens, from parking lots, from malls, my incident still would have happened. I still would have been raped. SB6 would not have protected me. My second comment is... Darn. <laughs> my second comment, thank you, sir. My second comment is in 2005, at the very old age of 42, I had the opportunity to become a mother. Um, this is my child. I am so proud of him. I adopted him through CPS. His name is Benjamin. With common sense, what bathroom should he use? He is biologically female, and I worry for his safety. My third comment is for someone else. A little transgender girl who could not stay tonight wanted you to see her poster. <laughs> Marsden, if you're looking, this is for you, sweetheart. It says, the unicorns are on our side. You can be, too. That's for y'all. Thank you for letting me speak. Thank you. All right. Uh, 